Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you some data entry tricks in Excel and today I'm going to be showing you how to enter information into one cell but add it to multiple other cells at the same time. So multi-cell data entry. So the first thing that I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to just uh, use the quick fill handle which is also another method to improve your data entry uh, using a quick fill. So if I select uh, and I put January in here. If you use this bottom right hand corner, uh, this little square at the bottom right hand corner, and you drag that over, that's called the quick fill handle. And if we drag that all the way across to December, you see that it automatically updated that information. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in item uh, number one. And what we can do now is also just drag that down. You'll see how down below, uh, right where the fill handle is, basically it's showing you that it's updating and uh, auto incrementing that value for us using that autofill handle. My second or the most important trick of this video of course is doing the multi-cell data entry. So what I'm going to do is use the RAM between function in this case. I'm going to type in equals uh, actually first thing we're going to do I'm going to hit escape. First thing I'm going to do is actually select the area that I want to enter data into all at once. So I've selected from C4 all the way down to uh, N13 and I'm going to type in now equals brand between I'm going to open my bracket and we're going to put in 10,000 for example all the way to 100,000 I'm going to close that bracket and I'm just going to hit control enter and there you have it so what I've done is use multi-cell data entry with a formula uh, of course you could do it just with a value if you wanted to just put one simple value into a specific cell or a name or whatever it might be if I just put in 10 for example sorry if I put in 10 here let's do this again if I put in the value 10 and then I just hit control enter again you'll see that that automatically types that in so the key is of course control enter after you have selected your entire data range if you have any questions about this I know it's a pretty simple one but feel free to leave a comment I love this trick it's great for creating uh, quick data sets and it's something that I use all the time we'll see you next time thanks